Hey everybody, welcome. It's Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. Welcome to the video. Great to have you along with me today. Here's a question I get asked a lot, like not every day, but several times in a week, people will ask me this question. How often should I change my wedges? Well, stay tuned. We're going to try and answer that question for you. So, it's an interesting question, isn't it? How often should you change your wedges? What I'd love you to do, if you can be bothered, is to post your comments down below as to how often you change your wedges. And when we're talking about wedges, we're generally talking more about the more lofted wedges, your sand wedge in particular, your lob wedge, clubs that you might be using out of sand. But equally, clubs that you use maybe a lot in practice, like your pitching wedge or your gap wedge. Why would you change your wedges that often? Well, they deteriorate. Um, I'm gonna put some close-ups up here. I've got in my stand here a Mizuno MPR series wedge in chrome. And as you look at the close-up of it, you can see there's a fair amount of wear in it. You know, there's some wear marks, there's lots of dings and nicks on it. I mean, this has seen some service. This club, it's been sat in my second handbag for a few years, but um, I think it came out about 10 years ago, roughly. It's a forge wedge. We expect the, force, the faces of forge wedges to deteriorate maybe a little bit faster. But what we're really interested in today is the grooves. How much do the grooves in golf clubs deteriorate after a while? And in my other hand, I've got a brand new, well, say brand new, it's a demo club that's been hit maybe half a dozen times. Ping Glide 4 wedge, uh, again, 56 degree, brand new, um, super sharp grooves, all the latest technology. And what I thought would be fun is to hit a variety of shots with the old worn out wedge, or is it worn out, and the brand new wedge, look at what the spin numbers do and see if it makes much of a difference. And then you can maybe make that decision for yourself as to how often you change your wedges. Now I've heard all sorts of stories that on tour, the tour pros, male and female, around the world will change their wedges, certainly their lob wedges, sand wedges, gap wedges, anything, you know, like every three months sometimes, they'll get new heads on there so that the grooves are super fresh and, you know, unmarked and produce the most amount of spin possible. I have no idea if that's true. If anyone else knows the truth about that, how often the tour pros change their wedges, again, post comments down below. So let's get in. Let's go and hit some shots and see what the results tell us. Stay tuned. So we're going to start our little experiment off with the Glide 4.0, 56 degree. And what I'm going to do is I've set the launch monitor up. I've set the greens to soft so the ball will stop. Uh, I'm approximately 80 yards away, 79 yards to be exact. So I'm going to hit like a little knockdown 56 degree sand wedge shot for me. I've got Pro V1 balls down on the deck. This isn't a full sand iron for me. It's a little... Sort of, well, you'll see. It's a little sort of three-quarter knockdown. Let's hit a couple, get our eye in. Haven't hit too many warm-up shots yet, so <clears throat> just, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> that's brilliant, isn't it? Never even, never even sniffed the green, that one. <clears throat> that's a little bit better. So we're just going to hit some shots. <clears throat> we'll flash up a few numbers as we go, but I want to get some data. I want to get some, want to get some sort of lines in the sand here of what this wedge is doing. A little bit heavy, but got enough of the ball. You can see these are, are hitting the green and spinning up quite nicely. That was a bit fat. That just spun at under 6,000. Wasn't a great strike. That was a little bit better fraction thin but good for yardage spin coming up now at seven nine four five just under eight thousand revs of spin gc2 decided it wasn't interested in that one shame actually it's not a bad stripe always misses the good ones never misses it when you shank it good strike a little bit shorter distance, but nipped it. Spinning again, 8.3. I'm gonna go two more of these and then save that data and then move on to the old Mizuno. Good strike, should be on yardage. 
Could be quite close, that one. Woo! Two foot two inches away. Like it. Again, spinning at seven seven. We'll tell you why spin varies a little bit in a minute. One more. Not bad. Should be pretty good. A little bit heavy, potentially. So I think, how many shots have I hit there? Eight shots, and the first one which I pulled uh, left of the green, I'll get rid of, take that one out of the experiment. But what I'm trying to do here is get a good average. I'm not looking for like my best ever strike. Um, I'm looking for something which is sort of consistent with how I might play. So what we'll do is I will save those, get rid of the first shot, grab the Mizuno wedge, and then we'll have a little see what that one's doing. Stay with me. I'm back everybody. I've got the old Mizuno wedge here. Just need a few more balls to complete our little experiment today. Great wedge this. I remember it well, the R series. Typical sort of Mizuno um, design, teardrop sort of shape to it. It was um, pretty classic. The grip's original. You won't see this on the video. It's, it's like so shiny I could shave in it. So um, I have to hang on to this one a little bit tighter, but the grip is absolutely shot. But let's see what happens. I'm curious. I have not kind of cheated here and done this test before I filmed the video. This, this is like all happening as it is happening right now. I have no idea what to expect here. Let's see if we can replicate the same sort of shot. Good strike. Good strike. It's the first one telling us <laughs> 8,400. Okay, that's interesting. Bit thin, but good result. I was going to tell you a little bit about what affects strike, uh, spin rather. Obviously the golf ball that we're using has a huge effect on how the wedge is going to spin. I'm using Pro V1s here, which are a high spinny ball. If you were to use something, I don't know, like a two cheap two-piece ball, and I've done videos on this before, the spin rate drops drastically. If you use a range ball, like a one-piece range ball, the yeah, spin just falls off the planet. Let's keep going. We need about seven shots with this, so we'll, we'll keep trying to pepper that flag. Good strike. Should be good for distance. This is spinning remarkably well for an old wedge. 8,000 revs of spin. I'm very surprised. Good strike. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how I'm able to replicate similar sort of club speeds and deliveries here for this to be a, a fair sort of test. How many have I done? A couple more to go. Fraction heavy, but I had one of those with the ping, so it's fair to leave that in. Three foot three inches, I'm getting quite decent at this. Maybe I should practice my wedges more often. Pretty good. On the money. This is, I'm, I'm glancing at these spin numbers coming through. This is a very, very, Interesting, that's the last one. I'm gonna leave all of those in. All those were quite decent. So, what we're gonna do now is we get, I'm gonna collate that data and I'm gonna show you something quite surprising. Be right back. Okay, you ready to look at some numbers with me? What I've done is I've just, I've put five shots of each in and I've been trying to be very fair. I've took the sort of the, almost the best and the worst out to try and give us a good average here. Now, the first one I should have called the ping wedge, but I forgot, so it's just called wedge. First of all, let's look at the ball speeds that I was creating here. So ball speed was averaging 67.9, and with the old Mizuno, 70.8. So I've managed to keep the club speed, ball speeds very close to each other. Launch angles, again, I think I've done a pretty good job on the launch angles, considering they're both 56 degrees. 28.4 average on the Ping, 27.7 on the Mizuno. Now, this is the bit that we're all interested in. Has the backspin deteriorated on this very old, what looks to be beaten up wedge? Simple answer, short answer, no. Highest spinner I got with the Ping 
was 8.3. And I averaged one, two, three, four. On those five shots, I've averaged just under 8,000. 7,976 revolutions of spin per minute. That's quite a lot of spin, isn't it? Down onto the old broken Mizuno. Check these out. I did have one which could have been strike related, but the average spin, I got the highest spin of the bunch there at 8,400. And the average spin there was 7,912. It's a pretty much like for light. I can get my GC2 to do a, a, an even more sort of detailed comparison here, just taking all those numbers, see what this tells us. There we go, ping wedge. These are the numbers all sort of rifled down. 7,976, old Mizuno, 7,912, carry distance. Again, this is down a little bit to strike. 74 yards carry with the ping, 79 with the Mizuno. I am shocked, quite frankly. Now, that, again, if we, if we look again at this, this very close-up picture of the Mizuno wedge, I mean, the face looks scuffed and worn. What I can't tell is what's going on deep down in those grooves, unless I had a sort of a microscope. You know, and you can run your fingernails through them, which is pretty unscientific to get a feeling of the depth, you know, and the, I wouldn't say the, the horrendous, you know, none of the grooves have closed up that much, but you, I would just expect because of the age and the technology and the amount of wear that this wedge has had, that the spin would come off. So short answer to your question, should you change your wedges every two years, three years? Well, probably not based on that. Fascinating. I want to get your views on this because I know you've all got your views and your sort of experiences. Tell me about when, how often you've changed your wedges because that completely did not do what I thought it would do. Hey, this is what we're here to do. Have some fun, experiment, talk about things that are golf related. Thanks for watching. My name's Andrew Ainsworth. It's been a pleasure having you along today. If you like the video, do us a great favor, click on that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'm really trying to grow the channel in 2023 and with your support I can do that. So if you're new and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I don't post videos hugely. I'm trying to do one a week, something like that at the moment, more if I can. But uh, yeah, wow, wedges, grooves. I'm shocked. All the best. Bye for now.